everyone, it's Anne. Um, this video is made for some people out there um, who have been approached by Satan. Uh, if it be in a vision, if it be in a dream, or if it be uh, some other way that he has tried to approach you, um, especially when you're young, if you're a young person, or if you're someone who's older now and this happened to you when you were younger. He tends to do this at the right time. He's really intelligent. He watches us. He knows what we desire. And he knows, uh, lots of times he knows our giftings that God gives to us when he creates us. And so Satan uses that and the right timing to come in and to convince us that his deal that he wants to make with us is far greater and better than anything God can give to us. And then he does it when we're at the weakest moment in our lives. He tried to do that to me when I was about 16 and a half, 17 years old. And my best friend, who I was leading a God and taking to church, decided to run away from home and actually become a witch. And she got into not just witchcraft, but also into Wicca. That was the religion of her choice. And she became demon-possessed. She had two demons that possessed her. And I'm, I'm serious. Those, there might be people out there who do not believe in demons. It's because you've never been around them. If you've ever been a around a demon-possessed person, it'll scare the crap out of you. And you will be shocked that that is exactly who's talking to you. If it's a loved one, you'll know when your loved one's talking to you and when they're trying to pull your leg and when it's actually true. My best friend actually was demon-possessed. And um, that was the right time for Satan to come in and to try to convince me that he had the best option for me, that he had the best life plan for me, that he can offer me the best stuff. And he promised me that he would make me famous, that I would become this worldwide famous singer, that I would have the most beautiful, most powerful, loudest, best voice out of all singers, that I would have this wonderful, huge, mega, you know, music um, career, that I would be the richest woman in the world. He promised me that I would be the most beautiful woman in the world. Um, he promised me fame, fortune, luxury, you name it. He threw it all on the table along with the kitchen sink, basically. That's what we say here in America. He offered me everything. I mean everything. And all I had to do in return was to sign my name on a contract out of goat's blood. And he killed the goat in front of me and he, with a knife, with a ceremonial knife. And he took the blood and put it on a quill pen and said, here, sign. That's all I had to do was sign my name. Very simple, right? Wrong. Someone out there has signed their name. You made the deal with the devil because you were hurting, because you were having some hard times, because there were some things that you wanted you didn't think you'll ever get, because maybe your family said you can never accomplish something, Therefore, you had to prove them wrong. Maybe you were in severe pain because you've been sick for a long time. There's some reason why you decided to make that deal. Maybe you were being greedy and you just wanted to be rich and famous and you've tried to make it as a rap, star, a rap artist and nobody would do it. They'd slam the door in your face. Therefore, you decided to make that deal because he offered you what you wanted to hear. And now you're regretting it. And you think that there's no way out. You think that you have to commit suicide or do something of the sort so you feel like you have a little control over your own life just for a short moment before you go to hell. You know you're going to hell. I'm, this video is made for someone who knows they're going to hell because of the choice they made and the deal they made with Satan. And Satan is coming to collect and you know it. And he did not he did not come through with his promise that he gave to you. It was all short. Every promise he made to you was short of what he promised. He is a deceiver. He lies. He is coming to collect and you know it. 
you do not know when, and it's driving you crazy. That's the most painful thing, is to sit and wait for the day that Satan decides he's going to take your life. You don't know what's going to happen to you. God is telling me to tell you that it's not hopeless for you. If you're watching this video, God will forgive you. All you have to do is admit that you have done the wrong. You've made the wrong decision. You have to say, God, I'm sorry for what I've done. Please save my life. Take my soul back from Satan, the great deceiver. Save my life. Please forgive me of my sins I've made against you and the anger I've caused you to have. Please save my life. And don't try to fake him. Because he's the one that made you. He knows when you're being honest and when you're trying to fake him. But 